real important concept for the mature golfer is to understand that it's not as important how far you hit it as that you know how far you hit it. This is a range finder as opposed to a GPS. Uh, it seems like a lot of fun to just look at your phone or one of those little GPS wristwatches to see how far away you are, but those can only give you the front, the back, and the middle of the green. Basically, you have to guess for three other things. First, whether it's uphill or downhill, you might have to add or subtract yardage. If it's into the wind or downwind, or if you were at sea level or at up elevation, you don't want to make the fourth guess. If you don't have a real good pin that you can acquire with this, then you could be, very often when I'm on a cart, 10 to 12 yards off. So let's make sure we know what the exact yardage is to begin with, and then we can make adjustments for the other three variables. The problem with the rangefinder is that as we get a little older, we get a little unsteady. So if you haven't used one before, you have to aim it and lock on. All of them have a little focus ring right here. If you're not aware of that, then you look through it. Sometimes it'll seem real fuzzy. So use the focus ring to dial it in. And then when you have the button pushed down, you'll have the little crosshairs that you have to hit. Now the problem is that uh, you don't want this thing to hurt you. So sometimes you'll miss it inadvertently and you'll get a really bad yardage. Two times that's the most difficulty is if you have a hill right behind the green, you might miss the pin and hit the hill and add 25 yards and shouldn't be there. So to correct that one, you shoot the hill and miss on purpose and then you shoot the pin to make sure you get a different reading. The hardest ones are the downhill shots. What happens on those is instead of the flag waving this way, you're shooting it from an angle. So you shoot it and you're actually hitting the green that's eight to 10 yards past it. So once again, move to the side, shoot a couple times and get a number and then go back to the pin and keep going. Sometimes it takes five or six tries until you get one that is a definitely different number.